TSM's going for a very, very weird and wonderful approach, trying to stay as close to the edge, but unfortunately this is funneling them directly into the open arms of Furia. Now, Furia have to move eventually. E36 is directly behind them. Circle will update. And it pulls in smack bang on meta. We spoke about just a second ago. Those bunkers and how it does sometimes flow down from the hillside and into them. It looks like we could potentially get in the broken bunkers as an ending once again. There's only a few of those, though, that you can take. You can play inside. You can play outside. Better to play outside, but of course... It comes with its own disadvantage that you have players up high around you. You're open to attack from a multitude of angles. The, the downside of being in here is that you are now boxed in. Once you're in, you're in here for good. And DA have gone for the full-blown commitment. T1 once again feeling the full force early on. Lose two players just like that. One pincer maneuver and instantly it comes down to Dangche and Ada on the opposing bunker. The outskirts one, the one where it generally doesn't go is it pulls away from that wall side to try and hold it down. Detonation Gaming White also fold into it. Meta Gaming spot them at range. Face Clan's here. LG Divine at the door. I say it's Face Clan. It's not. It's just Ites here. Two versus one. Survival looking very unlikely given there's someone on the opposing side. Machao and Malofa also from Detonation Gaming White dying simultaneously. So Meta putting the hurt on. Close the door. Not a problem. My teammate will finish you off from the left hand side. Ites is down and dead. Nothing about this circle is easy. I actually love this. This is a, a nice treat, but on the hillside, here we go. Fuzzface finds Hansi up. Hikari, you can see him already a little bit curious now as to where that just came from. Just thrown in. Trying to get the flush. Maybe force the player out. Just going to go straight for it. Burn through the bullets, but it's for a, I guess, a valiant reason. Fury are on the pull-up as well. Oh, they chose a meta gaming. Oh, they're just sending on in. Wicked's gone down, but they've got one knocked. And now this is looking a little bit of a disaster for Furia. Two still alive, but the nade's going to come out on the other side of things. You can see Ems taking chunks out of E36 as well. Rusty Zero, the back line's Necro. That Molly looks on him. He might burn to death. He does. Sparking's taking him down, and now just one alive. Rusty Zero trying to hold on here. The flush from the vehicle, flipping on over, and just sent into absolute doom. But Meta aren't looking too good either. Left down to two, Sparking and Silzen. To try and hold this together. Gone through the really quite critical utility down to the flash. Pushing in. Rusty's error gets one. Ooh. He can't convert the second. And just making sure he's damn dead. Meta though left in tatters now. Yeah, I just noticed Hirazen got picked out of the car from VP's rotation by Na'Vi at the worst time. They were already in the vehicles. They were already going. They couldn't stop and pick them up. And it looks like they're going to send through as well. Everyone's just piling in towards these hangers. Rich, they're all going for it. Spyro trying to find the right way forward. It doesn't look like going on the inside on this, playing on the outskirts instead of going full in like we saw those other previous teams. And now LG9 wants in as well. And it's Metro on the other end. Now they've just recovered from their initial fight, but Silton, 10 HP, no chance. And that's just going to be a wipe. Yeah, there it goes. Now, at least a nade did find JN, but that might be recoverable. LG Divine nabbed themselves one of the hangers. Only one of them standing, though. The smokes will go in. Nikki's removed from distance, and it keeps on going. VP. Liquid ends. What's the play? Oh, no, 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 no. Once again, we got a European three-way towards the south. Ends phase. Liquid. Everyone having to pull the same factor. I'm not. Sweep and clear. Job done. Get him out. Get it clean. Get it good. Keep control of it for now, but still not inside the circle. So lots of work to do. And the vehicles, unfortunately, are rolling away from them. VP not faring any better. The utility has been committed. The smokes are down. And Navi is laying the hammer. They are laying the law. The <gasps> Lou, the vehicle. It rolled down and killed him. That's devastating. He was holding them back. And one nade just solidifies 13... Or 12 plays, not much better either. Liquid full send. LG Divine gone. Liquid's in. With the smokes is here, but somehow makes it work. He has just cracked Diggory's skull open. Now FaZe have to is. move. That was the only opportunity. Shan, time to open up. One down, one running against the tree. Ira and Var disconnected ever so slightly. Volibear instantly responded on, though. Ira. Now moves back with Vard and TSM, unfortunately. The dagger in the back. It's hit them hard. It definitely has. They, they aren't unrecoverable yet, though. There's the first flush. That's the bigger issue. If they can't get back up on this, Petrical Road have made this one last now. But the trade-out did come in, in the form of Iro finding long and then the flush as well. So it is going to be just paying left alive. Five from a freak of freaks. It's just... 
pinged him in the side, but the nade is still good to get Iro. Gets off a quick heal, but he only has bandies, so kind of burning through that right now. Vard now under pressure. Does he know how much trouble he's going to be in? Now he does. Molly comes in. Get ready, Vard. On the other side will be Peng. Peng's got the better shot on him. TSM gets shredded, but at what, what cost? TSG are down to one player and no position on the circle. That's it. Now... Petrical Road working in against the blue. Now that's going to be a little nasty, isn't it? Na'Vi should have this every day of the week. There is a touch of cover, but I don't think they're in yet either. So this should be quite comfy stuff. There it is, cresting out of the smoke. Oh, the timing on that reload was awful, but it is what it is. Flush comes out, Mamu goes down, and now just one for Petrical Road trying to make the last nice. stand. Axel left trying to go for it, but look at the creep up, Rich. You're right. A freak of yep. freaks. The timing is so good. Na'Vi have no idea. And just step by step, they're creeping closer. Na'Vi, do they even consider it? Senya turns around, but he doesn't see it yet. They're just creeping closer. And here it is, the execution squad. EJ from up on top. Na'Vi took their eyes away for a second, got comfy, and it gets ripped away from them. Orange goes down as well. Massive work from Afrika Freaks. We cannot say how devastating of a blow that is to Na'Vi. They took their eyes off the ball for all but a... It's one of the bunkers where it has the doors closed and sealed on this one, so you can't get inside. You will have to take the fight. That's where you can already see Jeans is burtonating to try and remove a freak of freaks from up top. Quick drive by to solidify Face Clan's position as seventh. Oh, Ents are going for the center. Oh. They got nades in their hands. Oh, they're going for the full send. This is a full blown blind send. That is one of the most precarious sends I have ever seen, and it's dealt with. Jeans just brushes them to the side. Oh, don't run your teammate over. Good lord. Actually, very surprised he didn't die then, to be fair. He's got no helmet. has to be quick. The blue is here. That vehicle is looking are worse they sending it too? Oh. oh, no. Where oh, are you no, going to go? Oh, no, no, to... no. Are they going to DA? Where are they going? Oh, they're going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere is where they're going. We are down to four. I've got to say, a freak of freaks. Ooh, the circle's actually a bit punishing towards them. I can't believe you've done this. <gasps> All right. Good nerd. Nah, you know what? You cast, you cast the rest of this. You just cursed it. This is no. you. No. Yeah, I hope you're happy. Here we go. Oh, story. look here. What's happening? Chance. Look at this. Look at it. There you go. Look at what you have done to poor Liquid. They tried to hit a rotation, and, and the Richard curse has struck. A cad finds Jeems. And a Freak Freaks made it off with no one really hitting them with anything. They have crossed here, and nobody spotted them on the way. Na'Vi are being a lot more, you know, introverted in this. Playing, trying to save. I think they've seen a cab there. Yeah, Besto definitely does, but it would be a 2v3 at best for Na'Vi. And I don't know the other positioning coming in for Tab, so the nade goes a little deep. Smash finds Ivy, so that's one EU team out. I hope you're happy, Rich. And now it looks like maybe Na'Vi's next on the chopping block because Akkad is looking sharp today. Tab's now going to try and back away nade in hand. He's gone down, so is Na'Vi. We're into a 3v3, and I cannot believe it. DA up against the Freak of Freaks making all the moves. Metralius and Smash are the ones having a problem. Marco can bail them out, though. And Akkad, this could be death from above. Are you... Guys, you better check this. Even in the vehicle, you better check this, boys. Have something in mind. A dive into the smoke, maybe in the vehicles will get you past, but no code Marco's been noted. A cad gives it away, but here we go. Send in the vehicle. Smash tries to make it out. The spray comes in. It's not quite there. But what does DA do? They're in the middle of an open field now, boys. Get out, stand, and deliver somehow. A freak of freaks now have better vision than and, and Hikari's punished Smash. What is the game plan now? Code Marco trying to still play out from the hangar. Creeps out by the smoke. A can up above. The man's gone mad. He gets picked up, but the three comes out. EJ comes in. It's just Metralius left in a 1v2. He's done this before, and he could potentially do it again. All of Europe's hopes and dreams are residing on his back. With the two Korean players still out in the open, a few smokes and a few trees is all that stands between them and Metralius. He has the hardcover, and he probably has more time. But he needs to make these shots land both teams all players just committing to the cause goes out in the open he tries to molly him that's the one move done and it now falls to a one versus one on the other side is ej eyes locked towards this smash potentially resible but do you go for that that'd be too risky surely ej if he senses this could move up on this but code marco should be able to call it metralius Still out here. Molly goes in. Metralis in the bottom left. Top right is EJ. EJ still looks for this, though. But who plays the smoke better? Metralis on the swing around. Has he seen him? He hasn't managed to see him. EJ 
Getting away with murder here, just focused towards that tree. Maybe a miscall came out because it looks like Metralius simply does not have the vision on the edge of that smoke. A spray in. And now EJ gets closer forward in towards the blue. Now Flash comes out. EJ working a little closer. Gets the deck by the next box. See if he gets some more utility. Nothing for this right now. Metralius. He's in the blue. He's flashed up. He has no idea where he is now. Completely blind. And EJ's got him pinned in the smoke.